Well, that looks and sounds terrifying. What is it? The slip. Yeah, no one really knows. From what I hear, it has the makings of a lot of things. A black hole, a space vortex, and a bunch of stuff we don't even understand. Oh, cool, 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 cool. We're not thinking of actually traveling through the slip, are we? Tell me that's not a real option. Um, maybe? I mean, look, Cutter's log seemed to show him making trips through the slip and coming out at this place on the other side. Rex's opaque, red-lensed eyes focus on the star chart, and he points. Which may or may not be a planet. Or anything at all. But we don't even know what kind of vessel Cutter used, assuming he really made this trip. He could have a ship in tech the likes of which we can't even conceive, and that's what got him through the slip. Dust points to the holographic version of the slip. Meanwhile, we're riding in a rusty hunk of junk that's held together with duct tape and a whole lot of wishful thinking. Uh, is this ship really that bad? Hey, don't think for a second this is something I want to do. But I've scrubbed Cutter's logs, and this is it. Well, it's suicidal, at best. We don't know if we can survive the trip, what we'll find if we make it through, or if we can make it back. There are too many things that can go wrong. We know we're going to end up doing this, so let's skip over the tedious blah 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 and get to it already. I'll drive. Okay. The holographic version did not do justice to the immensity of the authentic spatial anomaly, crackling with strange energy. Billy's crew stares in awe through the cockpit window. Well, there it is. The big, bad slip. Wow. If anyone has any objections to flying straight into the mouth of galactic madness, tough. I'm not turning back now, and the escape pod doesn't work. Hey, Billy, I, um... Uh Uh-huh. You're my friend. You'll always be my friend, no matter what. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. 